What's up everyone? Uh, we're gonna be taking a look at the Kobin mission for Splinter Cell Blacklist. So I'm doing this in an all ghost um, style. No lethal takedowns or alerting the guards or anything like that. So uh, my non-lethal weapon is the Sticky Shocker because I haven't unlocked the crossbow quite yet. But I do that just after this mission. And uh, so you start off and you can run basically for the first little bit. Up to that first guard and uh, I have upgraded boots right now so my movement speed is a little bit reduced but you can still do this with the minimum so it shouldn't make a difference anyway you come over to this window after knocking out that guy you don't need to hide any bodies here because they don't walk around enough and then at the window I just uh, press Z or the attract button to get him to come over and make sure you're on the left side of that door because it'll open the door and otherwise you won't be able to get him um, so then you come over here and you, there's different spawn points for each time you play but there's only like three or four different ways that they spawn. So if you play it enough, you'll get to know each one. This one was actually brand new to me. Um, but I was able to make it work anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Anyway, uh, the reason I'm doing a voiceover for this, usually I would just kind of show the gameplay, is because I missed out on a couple of the extras. Or I didn't miss out on them, but um, I did them already, and so you can't tell. So this guy right here is actually a, the capture person. And so what you're supposed to do is capture this person and not kill him. So you have to make sure not to kill him. But if you're doing it a whole non-lethal style play, it shouldn't really matter. Uh, you just come up here and you press E, and then I think you just have to press it twice, and it's not really that big of a deal. So there's um, two like sections to this mission, and this is the first section, and it has it doesn't have the laptop in the first section. The, the laptop is actually in the second section. So if you're sticking around looking for it, I ran around the whole thing for a little bit trying to find it. Now this guy, you have to come up from behind, and you cannot execute him. You have to do a hand-to-hand -hand takedown. Uh, not that it's really that hard. You just kind of walk up behind them, and they don't really turn around fast enough. In the next part, though, there are some guys that turn around pretty quick, and if they turn around before you actually execute their like takedown maneuver, then they will just like uh, push you back with their gun, and so you have to be really fast or do an aerial takedown, which you'll see me do later. Um, so I came over here because I thought one of the guy's paths was to come down these stairs, but I think I already screwed it up, um, and so I realized that a little bit through and decided to just go around the other way. Because there's two more guys up here, or three more guys up on this upper section, and uh, within this little, uh, I don't know, s sunny, dry place, uh, whatever you want to call it, man, I don't know. Uh, there's three guys up here, and then there's three down on the lower part. You can see one in the corner of the screen who kind of gets close to over here, but not really all the way. So I made it over, way over here, and I tried a couple different things to get this guy to go faster. But if you mark him and just execute, it's a lot faster, and you don't have to worry about that guy that's up there. Because uh, sometimes he'll see you, and it makes you freak out and kind of um, do some rash things like Mr. Turner. Um, I really wanted to do a ledge takedown right there, but this guy was definitely going to get in the way, so I just decided to take him out first, and I thought this guy was going to see me, so I just took him out. But uh, it, He won't see you, so if you do want to run up there and just take it, you can. Now this part, um, I had to show you this because this is where the data drop is. Um, it's the USB drives that you can collect, and it's right there on that ledge. You'll see it. It'll show up on your screen. It'll tell you that it's there. So. Uh, you shouldn't have to worry about that, but I just wanted to point that out. Uh, this is why I'm doing the voiceover, because you wouldn't know that if I didn't talk about it. So um, Then we just kind of zip light down here. I just did this to make it faster. No one's going to see you over here if, as long as you kill people. And um, you could go around the other way. Sorry about the frame rate. It's a little bit bad for this little section, but I had nothing I can do about that. Um, the reason I came over here is because you get extra 100 points for the secret exploration path. So that's why I did that. And I miss this guy's path. Sometimes he'll come over to where those sandbags are um, and just stand there for a second. And that's usually when I take him out, but I was a little bit late. So I decided to just use a sticky noisemaker because there are quite a few um, loadout. Like, you get you get to restock after this, and so you just don't even need it, basically. Anyway, I don't know if there's really, like, a speedrun bonus or anything. I know that there's, like, a bonus for doing it in under, like, 40 minutes or something, but I didn't under 12 or something like that so uh, it's really not that big of a deal I just did it as fast as I could basically so you got two guards left here I could have executed these guys I wanted to um, but I decided to just wait a little bit longer because I knew he was gonna walk over here still take out down here and you'll see me just crouch run over there basically to the last guy so 
and I decided to use the execute because I just wanted to go fast. So. You can easily walk over to him. And another thing is if you see to the right there, you can go up on that ledge where that um, sniper was. Not really sniper. Not sniper at all. Um, but like the higher position ledge patrol guy. You can drop down and do an aerial attack from there. And that's what I did usually. Um, but this time I did the path a little differently because I missed out on one of the spawn points. So I had to go around the other way. Anyway, you're going to make your way down through here. Super easy path to get through. There's no real explanation necessary. But this is where the second part starts, and you'll actually get a checkpoint here. So you can die and mess up and stuff. Uh, as soon as you get here, it's fine. Actually, I did. So you'll see a little split in gameplay. Because I died once. Even though I shouldn't have. I um, can't remember what I did. I screwed up somehow, but I'm pretty sure I just got seen. Oh, no. It was the... Um, was at the very end, I was trying to hack the laptop, and uh, that's so I kind of fucked up there too because I was going to have it available to show where you guys where it was, um, but unfortunately that didn't work out. So anyway, you can restock here if you need to, and then just uh, head out these doors, and watch out for mines. They're only in the first little area of this, and you really just don't need sonar goggles. They're bright red and flashing and loud and obnoxious, so... You can walk up straight to this guy, and if he's standing there, then you shouldn't have to worry about the guy below. But if he's over to the right, there's another heavy armored guard below that's easy to take down. Uh, if you just drop down the ledge, take him out, then you don't have to worry about him later. It's really good. So There's the second exploration path. Uh, that'll give you the full like path that you discovered. And there's like a little room in here that you can get to, but you really just don't need it. So. I decided to skip it, um, and then you know you can do two two things. You can sneak up to that guy behind him and take him out, or you can execute him. Or you can wait for him. I just decided to wait because I wanted to use an execute on the sniper. You can get up behind that guy if you see the path just just behind him. Uh, it works, but I like this better because you can drop down on this guy. Oh. Um, and so there's two armored guards that'll patrol this kind of area, right here by this like covered market area and they'll talk for a second if you get a different spawn point and which is why I like to take out this guy first um, if that first guy that I took out is over to the right that I was talking about you can aerial take down that guy uh, but his path is gonna come through these huts and so usually I just wait for him to walk through this door and I'll just take him. like I said you don't need to hide any bodies they don't do any um, discovering on this one there are a couple missions where they do that, and it's really obnoxious. Uh, don't open that door to your left because the guards will notice and it'll throw them off their path, which is kind of bad. When you come up to get this sniper, make sure that the guy on the left, you see me check it, uh, is not looking. Because you'll get caught if he's standing right there and just kind of watching. Uh, and so it's this guy that's coming up the stairs right now. He'll end up walking over to this wood plank and just kind of stand there for a second. But luckily I was able to get the timing right. And if you do it the way that I did, you probably should get the timing right as well. It's not now this last guy in this little um, section before you get to the upper caves is a heavy armored guard. And so I like to do an aerial takedown and I totally buffed it up. Um, but he just, uh, he has, there's two spots where you can do an aerial takedown. One that he just walked past, which is to my right. Or you can do it over here. He's pretty hard to sneak up on. I'm not sure why. Maybe I just uh, wasn't doing it very well. But I like to do an aerial takedown because you don't have to worry about being sneaky. Uh, and he doesn't take very long to do his little route. He just kind of walks over here, and if that second guy's there, they have a little conversation. And there's one time where I did that, where I marked both of them, dropped down and killed that guy, and executed the smaller one. So just whenever you do an execution like that, make sure that you aerial take down or knock out the heavy armored because the execution won't work on him. So you have to do two shots. There's three guards up here and two security cameras. So. The security cameras actually cover where the laptop is, and you have to be really careful about that because if you kill all the guards, um, then you won't be able to get it in time. Well, I guess you can't, but um, it's difficult because the mission just ends right away. So you have to either do it really fast or do it before. And I like to I like to do it before just because. You have to take out the security camera, and then it's just a whole big thing. So I threw out a, a sticky noisemaker, and it got the wrong guard's attention. I was hoping to get the guy that I've marked right now, the heavy armored guy. Um, but this worked out okay. He's going to come back through here, and I'll just take him out, and it works out fine. 
So I went through the process of showing you how to get the laptop anyway, despite the laptop not being there. And I actually got uh, flustered by it a little bit because I was like, where to go? But it turns out I already got it. So. As he comes through here, you can just do this. And um, when you switch to this cover, make sure that you have a silenced pistol to take these out, otherwise he'll notice you. And um, I waited for him to turn around because he'll see you pretty quick if you don't. You can turn off the lights in here, which makes it easier, but I didn't do it this time just because it was so And so, um, because I poked my eye out, or my gun out, he, like, aggroed me, which I didn't want. And so there's two security cameras. There's one there and one on the, uh, my side of the wall. You have to take out both. The laptop's on that crate, right where that guy is. And it's pretty obvious it shows up, and, but, um, you can't do it unless you take out the security cameras because they'll walk over and see you, and smoke does not work. Uh, you can't just like, I tried doing a smoke grenade, uh, that doesn't work. You can use an EMP if you have one, uh, those will work, and uh, I think that's about it. But I just decided to shoot him out because I don't have any. Anyway, I almost got seen there, that was really close, and I was, my heart was racing a little bit there, but it's okay. It's okay guys, I got it. And then I, I was like really worried about this laptop, I thought maybe he like took it, he was like, oh god, protect the info, but that's not how it works, so. I decided to not do an aerial takedown because I was trying to figure out where this stupid um, thing was. Either way, sneak up behind him, get the huh? last kill. No one uh, anything else to right. deal with down here. You can check out my score at the end. Um, check out my channel if you want to. I'm going to be doing uh, all these missions and I'm doing a full playthrough in Ghost Style. And uh, other than that, thanks for watching. I hope it helped or you know made you angry. Have a good day. Resource transfer complete.